Now that Fallen Kingdom has been out for a month, I think it's pretty safe to assume that most of you have already seen the movie. If you haven't gotten around to seeing it just yet, don't worry, no rush. This video will still be around on the internet waiting for you. With that being said, I'd like to take the time to talk about many of the extremely interesting deleted scenes that this movie is said to have cut from its final release. And some of the coolest, in my opinion, would have featured the Indoraptor quite heavily. The first Indoraptor scene that was cut from the film had the beast playing with a man's skull inside of its cage, inferring that the animal had already dined on human flesh far before it was released in this movie's second act. Now, the story behind this deleted scene can be found inside of the junior novelization that has been released to accompany the film, but it's also been described described by one of Fallen Kingdom's concept artists, who you can find on Instagram as Jama Jarabave. Apparently, there was supposed to be a scene where someone would ask why the Indoraptor's cage is dark, and the explanation was going to be that at one point in time, it indeed had a light. But when the light bulb went out, a technician made his way into the cage in order to replace it. That same technician never came out. We were supposed to get a line of dialogue here that told us this was how Eli Mills and the others figured out that it took three Trank darts to sedate the new Indoraptor, which means it would have been used as a little bit of foreshadowing to Wheatley's death, wherein he shoots two darts into the animal before it fakes its own defeat. Personally, I would love to see this scene included as an extra on the Blu-ray, but unfortunately, it looks like that's not going to happen anytime soon. From what I've heard, there isn't going to be a director's cut of Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, and that's mainly because the theatrical theatrical cut of the film is the director's cut. Bayona said himself that they talked about including the deleted scenes on home media releases, but decided against it, saying that nothing really meaningful was cut out of the film to warrant such a special feature. This goes along with what Colin Trevorrow has recently stated on Twitter about Fallen Kingdom's runtime, where he stated that Bayona's vision was what we all got to see on the big screen. I know that the film professor chose to chop a good 40 minutes off of the final cut of the film, but that doesn't mean that I wouldn't love to see some of these scenes in the future. And now that we've talked about the first deleted Indoraptor scene, we should really turn our attention to the next. This particular image is from a very early point in pre-production where the story would have played with the idea of having two Indoraptors. These animals would eventually begin to fight one another and the black one we see in the final version would kill its white sibling. This of course was never shot seeing as it was a scrapped idea from way back at the start of the movie's inception and to be honest with you, I'm kind of glad they cut it. Now hear me out. It sounds like an awesome idea, but in my opinion, it would direct a lot of criticism towards the fact that it would essentially be compared to the story point in Jurassic World, where we get information that the Indominus Rex killed its other sister. And apart from that, I don't really think it would have added anything to the overall story, so although this looks awesome, I think they made the right decision in leaving the concept behind. A few other interesting pieces of information I've gathered explain that, originally, some stuff was going to point towards the Indoraptor having been mistreated and scarred by by the humans who kept it locked away under the Lockwood Manor. Now, that is something I would have liked to have seen. But what about all of you guys? Do you think it was a good idea to cut this stuff out of the film? And what are your thoughts and opinions on these deleted scenes and concepts? Personally, the bit with the human skull would have been great, but I'm not so sure it would have made the movie any better than what we got at the end. It kind of feels like the boardroom scene that was cut from The Lost World to me. Yeah, it's there, and it's cool, but I don't know if it's that important to everything else. Regardless of what I think, I I'd love to hear all of your thoughts in the comments down below. Now, before I go, I want to thank my game wardens, as well as all of my engine executives, like Patrick Perry. I'd also like to thank my park workers and engine hunters as well. Elizabeth Freeman, words can't really express how awesome it is to have you guys tell me how much you enjoy the stuff that I do, and I seriously am eternally grateful for every shred of support that you've shown me. It honestly means the world, guys. Now, I'd like to thank you all for watching this video, and hope that you all enjoy today's content. If you feel like I deserve it, I'd appreciate the like, and hope that you'll consider subscribing if you're interested in hearing from me again. I'll see you all in the next video, guys. And as always, take it easy.